All right, I'm going to be doing this really fun DIY. I'm just like prepping this for Florida. This is an idea that I got from Amy Barker. She's Barker's Home Design. I'll tag her here. Definitely check her out. She has a lot of really cool DIYs that she does. It's actually a DIY cutting board, more for decorative use, not really for something that you would use to actually cut food on. But what she did was transfer a recipe onto the cutting board. I'm actually gonna be using my grandmother's recipe and transferring it onto the cutting board for my mom. So the first thing I need to do is trace out how big the cutting board is gonna be. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and do that first. So my time lapse kind of cut off part of what I was drawing there, but I measured everything out just to make sure it's nice and even and straight. I chose this part of the wood just because I really like these knots. I think it adds something interesting here. So <laughs> that's why I chose that. There's gonna be a little hole right here. And then I ended up using this little hot cocoa K-cup. That way I could have everything like rounded. Um, so I just basically like placed it here and traced it. That's it. Did that on the top. This line is not anything. I started drawing the handle and it was way too short. So, um, but yeah, it's just gonna be um, cut with a jigsaw and then we'll be able to just sand everything. And then I will be ready to pack this in my suitcase so I can take it to Florida. That's where the recipe is that I wanna transfer onto it. And it's a surprise for my mom, so I couldn't ask her to send it. So I'm just gonna do it on there. But I'm really excited for how this turns out. recipes they're in little index cards so I just took a regular piece of printer paper and kind of laid them out so I'm hoping once I print it it looks good and you can just see the writing and not like a bunch of yellow from the index cards because they are kind of old so hopefully it turns out good how this turned out the last thing we need to do is just spray with a little protectant spray I'm gonna use the same one Amy recommended I'll put it right here um, thank you so much Amy for this idea and hopefully this inspires you to do a fun little DIY